Good afternoon, Praetorians. I have terrible news. You are all doomed. <laughs> the Chaos Legion is coming. They are behind me. We will bring our armies. <laughs> We will bring our forces, and Praetoria shall fall before us. <laughs> we are bringing a thing called blight and plague, and it is spreading across the land. The newest members are not going to withstand us. They are all doomed. I think that's good enough for an intro. So anyways, uh, my name is Agro. Uh, some people know me as Jesse, but I prefer Agro. And uh, I'm one of the founders and creators of a game called Splinterlands. Yeah, so we have a... Um, uh, we've been here for a while, I mean, both at NFT.NYC, but more importantly, like, we've been in this space since 2018, and we've been building and, and putting together this game. Um, and my dream has always been a, a world that is filled with peace, prosperity, and freedom. And, that, and I don't think that there's any tool that's better to help us get there than crypto, but I, I never thought that people would come into crypto just because of uh, you know, financial markets and trading. It's not, it's not human enough to enough people. And what we really wanted was to go build a game that would allow us to onboard users so that they could experience crypto. And it's sort of like, come here for the earning, come here for the fun. But what we really want you to do is stay for the life-changing crypto experience where you have asset ownership, where you have freedom of economic choice, where your speech can be protected um, you know, on the blockchain in ways that you can't really get that, that level of protection anywhere else. And so for years now, we've been engaged in this process of onboarding users, helping them come into crypto, explaining to them mechanics behind altcoins, Bitcoin, between NFTs, staking, delegation, and all these different avenues that people can come and experience this blockchain and do it in such a way that they, they themselves can achieve economic freedom. And that's, that, to me, is what is the core of this game. Um, now, part of that, of course, is, is players and getting new players and new blood and new people into this ecosystem. And that's really the core of our mission. Um, and we've been fairly successful doing that. Uh, as of this morning, we have something like 1.3 million registered users in our, in our game ecosystem. Uh, and a big shout out to YGG. Uh, they were really one of the first guilds to come into this ecosystem and make a big, big splash and a big presence here. Uh, and it's been fascinating to me. Uh, over just the last seven to ten days, I've been contacted by about seven or eight other guilds, and they're all looking to do the same thing. Uh, so I think this industry is beginning to mature a fair amount more where, you know, the guilds are growing. They have tens of thousands of people in Discord. They're, they're earning or raising millions of dollars, uh, and they're looking for games to come play. And they're looking for ways that, that, you know, normal people all over the world can find other economic avenues to success that aren't currently available either in their country or they're looking ways to, to park capital. Um, and our game actually has some really unique things about it. Um, you know, the, we have this ability to rent cards. And so we currently have more than a million cards rented just right now. Um, and that... It's one of like the best passive income streams I've ever seen. It's this, it, you know, I, I used to rent property and you'd have tenants to deal with and you'd have to fix your roof or repair your gutters or something. And all this stuff would always go wrong with having a, a physical property. But by having this rental market, we really give the, every single user an inexpensive way to get into the game, to earn something, to experience this. And give them a, a different avenue and different set of choices. And it's very entrepreneurial. You know, it's not, it's not like, hey, you work for me and you're going to do this when I tell you to. It's, you know, you're, you take ownership of your pathway and destiny in this game and you try to build your economic worth. And, and renting is a start. And um, that's one of the ways that a lot of our players, especially from developing countries, will get started. So um, we've been doing this for a couple of years. 
Um, you know, I, I think, you know, our business is pretty seasonal because we have two week long seasons. And at the end of this last season, we had 500,000 accounts playing in the same day. And, you know, we're oftentimes trading for the top spot on DAP radar. Uh, and we're one of the biggest games and one of the biggest projects in the ecosystem. But that said, we're always, we're always looking for new people to come join us, to come fight in the Splinterlands, to, to engage in asset ownership, to experience NFTs with utility so that you can earn, so that you can play, so that you can rent, so you can trade, and, and be part of a community and a, a, a group of people that are, are hoping to, to bring about a little bit of change into this world, make it a little bit less bleak, a little bit less like what uh, Dr. Blight might want, and a little bit more like you know, we as a, a, a group of humans would hope for of a, a world built with peace, prosperity, and freedom. And here's hoping that our game and our community can help do that.